So in the uh, offset introduction video, I showed you how to either to use offset to uh, do one of two things. To get a starting point like this, go down x number of cells. Let's say we go down 10 cells to here. And then from that point, how to go to the right. Let's say we want to get the last number. We go all the way over to here. So there's the essential parts are just uh, the reference starting point, rows, which is the number. How many rows down do you want to go? How many rows up or down? Going down is positive. Going up is negative. How many columns to the right or to the left? Go, going to the left, that would be negative. Going to the right is positive. So typically people use this to take a starting point like this and go down oops, to go down and also um, to go, sorry, it's looking messy, and also to go right. So you start there, go down to there, and go across. All it needs is a couple of numbers. So this would be starting, if you were to say D17, if that's our starting cell, D17 just below, we would need a 5, or sorry, a 10, to go down 10 cells from here. So one, two, I would just, you know, we have a rank here, but same thing. Counting ten all the way down, and then five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. This is the number that we get. So there is something else that we can do to make this a little bit easier. What if you uh, you understand it, no problem, but someone else who doesn't understand it is going to be using it, and you don't want to confuse them. So let's just say we do our offset again. Oh, and in the last video I also showed you how to get a range of cells. So to go down 10, maybe you jump over 1, 2, 3, and you extract a group of numbers. It could be a block like this with height and width, maybe 9 values or 10 or 8, um, whatever it is. Um, you just use the last two arguments, height and width. So we've just sort of done a quick review of all that. Offset is in the lookup and reference category, important to know up here. Look up in reference, and uh, here are the arguments: three mandatory, two optional. So I'm just now going to build this again. Reference is that cell F4. Put those dollar signs so it doesn't move around on us. Uh, how far down? Uh, let's just say for now we want to go down 10, and we want to go over one, two, three cells to the right. And we want to get, we want to have a height of one, meaning we want to get one row's worth of numbers. And it makes sense if I put the, the comma three. That means we want to go to here and get all three numbers. So are, the, are those numbers really inside of here? Highlight it, F9, three values, exactly the same as what we see here. But there is an easier way to get these numbers. And one last thing, let's just say we, we want to average these numbers. We put the average. Do something with those three numbers that are stuck inside of the offset. So that's the average. And let's just prove it by going in here and saying equals average of these three numbers. And it's, let me see here, just the formatting is a little bit, yeah, it's the same thing. Just go like that, format painter, same thing. So I'm going to show you something else that we can do to make this a little bit easier. Uh, developer, insert the combo box here, and I'll just drop it in like that. Right click on it, format control, input range. So we, it's like a drop down list, but it's a little bit, a little bit different. Input range. We just highlight all of these cities, all the way down to what did I put in here? 200 or 100? 100 different places, different cities. Cell link. So when you, I'll show you in a minute what this means, but it's where we're going to put the answer, the selection. So I'll just drop it in behind the box, click OK. Now, let me just for a minute move it over here. When you select something, it's going to see how Mexico City is the third option in here, New York City is the fourth. If I pick New York City, it gives us a four because that's the fourth option, just as you see here. One, two, three, four, that's New York City. I'm now going to copy this and I'm going to paste it. Let me just align this to be right beside it. So we, now we have two of them, uh, but we have to modify this one. Right click, 
format control. I change this to just point over here and say, let's just pick, make a list of those four things. Where is this answer going to go? Let's make it go in that cell. They each need their own separate place. Click the OK button, and now look what I have in here. Four different options. Um, so what we could do is, let's just say offset. I'll just use the same formatting. OK, so F2 to get back in there, and open bracket. We start here, F4 to lock it. How far down? Well, we want to go down to New York City. We've already got the value right here, so that's the easy part. Just refer, reference uh, that cell, H10. Let's lock that one. How far across, meaning how, what do we really want to see in the end? If we go down to New York City, uh, we want to see go over two more. So that's going to be, oh, I see. I need to have a three there, actually. So I can just click on that and say plus one. I'll show you in a minute. So a four and a two, uh, if we were to say go down one, two, three, four, go over two, one, two, that would get us USA. So I need to put one more thing in this list. I need to just copy this, paste it, and put in city. Then I need to just redefine this, right click, format control, do that, highlight those four cells, okay, then I don't need to say that. So now if we pick New York City and we know that's going to go down to four from here, one, two, three, four, and then we pick country, that means which of these columns do we want to see? So one, two. So let me just put this on again in a different color. So now we've, we still have the same starting point. The four indicates, so we select New York City from the list, the four is saying go down four. One, two, three, four. And then, which of those columns, of all these columns, which one, which one do we want to see? We've got all these choices, which are one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five over here. So this is our list. And we are saying jump across two, because this is a number two. So from our current position, which is right here, we went down four. Now we go over one, two. And that's why we're seeing USA right there. Uh, what if we change this? So I need to turn this off. Change that to population 2010. All of a sudden, now we're getting this as an answer. And that is simply the value over here. So I'll just go like this so that you can see it easily. It's the same thing. Uh, so it's quite useful. Um, let me modify this one now. Take away these values. So now we'll say go to D17, go down 4, comma, go across 5. So this time we're just going to retrieve the one value, I'll just remove the average function, but you could have this set up in a way that no one has to touch the formula at all. All they have to do is make the selections. Let's pick Manila right there. Watch how it's going to change. So now Manila is right here, and which number are we getting? We're getting that one because it's population 2010. Uh, let me just show you what happens. What if we were to pick the country, the Philippines. Uh, what if we pick the city? Well, we already have that Manila right there. It just goes over one. Uh, so you could just keep flipping around with this. Any combination that you'd like. Moscow, population for 2002. There it is. Moscow, the country, and Russian Federation. So when you uh, learn more and more about Excel, it's all about combining all these different things, the offset function with a couple of controls to make this easy, especially if you have some kind of a presentation and uh, you know you can even hide these things like that and then you just make the selections, everyone can see it and you get your result.